Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a Moto 360 Generation 1 to your iPhone. This also works with the latest Generation 2 Moto 360. In fact, the process is a little more straightforward as that smartwatch already comes installed with the latest version of Android Wear. But if you've got a Gen 1 or if you're thinking of buying the Moto 360 Gen 1, then it's certainly still possible, but you'll need to perform one additional step, and that is to update the smartwatch to the latest version of Android Wear. Now, keep in mind, when I first updated it to the version 1.3 and subsequently connected to the iPhone, I noticed that my battery life was atrocious. I was only getting about an hour to two hours of battery life before I would need to recharge the watch. So in order to sort that problem out, I did a further update to the version 1.4 of Android Wear. Now I'm getting the full 24 hours of battery life. Once you've done this, you'll then need to hit the factory reset and this will then get your Moto 360 ready for pairing onto the iPhone. Now don't worry, hitting the reset will not undo the update that you've just performed to the latest version of Android Wear. Install the Android Wear app on your iPhone. It's a free download. Then click on the icon with the three tiny circles in the top right hand corner of the screen. Select the option to pair with a new wearable and in a matter of seconds, you should see your Moto 360 appear on the screen. Enter the pin number that is displayed on the Moto 360 onto your iPhone and that's it, you're connected. So now that you're up and running, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect in terms of usability. You need to be aware that Android Wear on iOS is not going to give you the full smartwatch experience. It's limited to receiving notifications such as text messages, Twitter and Instagram comments, but you can't reply directly from the watch. You'll receive notifications of incoming calls to which you can answer or deny from your watch, but once again, the communication is one way, so you can't actually respond or talk directly into your watch. You can sync it to display either Google Calendar or Apple Calendar events. And you can change the watch faces from the Android Wear app interface. All the standard Moto 360 watch faces are there, and there is a mini store which has some additional watch faces that you can install, but you don't get access to the full selection that you would see if you were running the Moto 360 on an Android phone. You can control audio from your watch. It works with Apple's music player and even third-party apps such as Spotify. You can pause, play a track, adjust the volume, and fast forward and rewind. The Moto 360 has its own health app called Moto Body. It has a beautiful color interface that will show you your heart rate, steps and calories burnt. The information is stored on your smartwatch and can be accessed at any time. However, there's no integration with Apple Fitness. You can access Google Now to talk to the watch and ask various questions. Information appears in your watch and you can then send it back to your phone. You can even use Google Translate from your wrist, which is really convenient when traveling. So there you have it. You can connect a Moto 360 Generation 1 to an iPhone. It's not going to be the full experience of a smartwatch, but it will serve the purpose of delivering notifications to your wrist and perform a few other basic functions. So if you're not into the Apple Watch and you're looking for a viable alternative and you've got an iPhone, then you can now consider the Moto 360 Gen 1 or Gen 2. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit us up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel for ongoing notifications of up and coming video releases. Bye for now.